Hey everyone, another uh, quick Adobe tutorial uh, because there's there's something that I think will be useful to everybody, but it's not super intuitive how to do it within Adobe. And and this is how to to once you've created all your masks for your for your house for your project to never have to do it again. You know, it could take a lot of time and effort to to try to draw all the masks that you want. You know, if you have you have your image of your house that you already took, and then you draw all the masks to it. Uh, you don't want to do that again when you have a new project, you know, like between Halloween, Christmas, new shows. And so you can, once you've done these masks, move them out to a file that can be imported into other After Effects projects. Uh, as I said, it's just not super intuitive. Thank you, Adobe. <laughs> so uh, the way to do it is, you know, I have this composition here that has the, the map of my house and I have a solid layer that has all my masks that I drew. And then to export this, you go up to File, dependencies and collect files. I don't know why it was just an export option. Uh, and then once that comes up, then you can choose all comps or selected comps. Uh, make sure the reduce project is checked. And then you click collect and choose a, a folder. And then there is an After Effects project file out there that you can use. And then in your new project, when you're spinning up a new show and you want to reuse those masks, then you can come in here in the project area and import that file into uh, into your project. If I can remember where I, I put mine. There we go. That's where I put it. So uh, you click import and go to, to, to this .aep file. And it's going to import it. And you'll see that it adds a new folder in your, your project area. And within that project has that composition that has the masks in it. So there you go. Um, do your masks once, never again, and you can move between projects. Now, as an add-on to that, there is a project like this that I exported. There's lots of people doing the Saber effect because it's super easy and super cool, uh, like for Stranger Things, things like that. So um, for people that are kind of struggling with getting the settings just right to get what they want, uh, on our Patreon account, I did create a a template, a project that has two sample files of Sabre so that you can look at that and, and see how it works. And so I can actually do the same thing. I can import that project into here. So let me show you that. And so here's, it's got the folder with, with two compositions. I did a typo there, but what I did was um, 768 and a 1080 version of these compositions. And so what this, uh, what this template project has when you import it is two versions of the, the Saber effect. Now, this one's just a static one. And you can see what the, the different settings are. So this is set up so that if you just trace a mask on your house, then it will automatically um, work and will automatically apply it. The other example I have is one where it's moving, where it's tracing a line, like what we did for our, our Stranger Things. Now, what's cool about that is com combining these two. I've already got these masks over here. I can just copy those over here. Let me get rid of that example one. And let me shrink that down a bit. There we go. I've already got my uh, Stranger Things tracing. Now my looks like my layer is the wrong size for the composition, but that gives you the idea how it works. Okay. So um, that template is already available in our uh, Patreon account for premium subscribers. And I'm going to continue to upload uh, useful templates up there that, that people might find helpful um, so they don't have to reinvent the wheel. Um, but if you just want to see the settings, then I can you can see the settings here too, or I can send you a screenshot um, so you can get your Sabre up and running. 